Hey, John Fink here from Doom HQ. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to make uh, sliding doors that open left to right uh, horizontally rather than how doors normally open, which is up and down and into the ceiling. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first create our rooms. And we're going to scroll in and we're going to connect them with the hallway like you normally would when you create a door. Okay. Now that we've got our space for the door to go into, we're going to create a dummy sector that's actually going to have the, the door in it. Remember, when you're making um, the doors, it needs to be the same size as the place that it's going to populate. And since we need this to face out, so we can activate it. And we don't need it to be double-sided, so switch to sector mode, select the center of the uh, sector, and hit delete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to texture our door and we're going to set its action. So next slide. It'll be a poly object 1. I'm going to use the speed of 5. A movement angle of 128 is left and right. Um, that'll include a place where you can download a list of the angles and which direction they correspond to. Um, movement length needs to be at least the si length of the door or whatever. I usually go for a little bit less so it doesn't go completely into the wall and has a little lip to it. And the delay is how long to wait before you close the door. Uh, 50 is a pretty okay uh, value for that. Uh, we're going to make it a repeatable action and we're going to set it to when the player presses U. Now that we've got that, we're going to start on defining the parts of the poly object door itself. We're going to click here, and since the outermost section is going to be seen, we're going to texture that, and we're going to give it an action of poly line start. And this is actually where you define the poly object itself. So we're going to give it a poly object number of one. We don't care about the mirroring poly object because there's not a second item object to worry about. Uh, the sound number is the number for the uh, sound in your sync sound sequence that you'd like to use. Poly objects don't inherit sounds or stuff like that from Doom itself or from default sounds. You actually have to tell it what sound you want it to use for the poly object when it's activated. So in this case, I have some sound sequences set up. I'm just going to go ahead and use zero. With that in place, we go into thing mode and we're going to set a poly object anchor. So this tells where the starting point for uh, that door is going to be and it's going to match up to another piece. We're going to set it as angle 2 because um, this is actually how they went about referencing the poly object. So we're going to give it a poly object, sorry, poly object of 1 and uh, so it links up with that uh, poly start that we already created. And now we've got that, we're going to go into the middle of our hallway and we're going to put a poly object start spot. It's also going to have an index of, or an angle of 1 so it matches with everything else in its groups. And this basically tells the anchor to set start right here. So that way it'll match up and pair up. Um, with all that in place it should look like this. There you go, simple as that. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comments below or shoot me a private message and I'll get back to them. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to make split sliding doors uh, to just build off this thing. Until next time.